Now we'll move on to the Church of Scientology that's looking to boost its presence in Australia. But residents living near where the church is buying up properties are very suspicious of its plans. They are calling themselves an education centre, but in truth it is a drug rehab centre. We don't actually have people here that are under the influence of any drugs. Now there's drug use there. There's some rather wild things happening there. Start. Stand up! They describe themselves as a, as a drug-free education program. They've described themselves as many things, but basically it's a recruitment arm for Thank Scientology. You. Sit down in that chair! So it's not a Scientology Absolutely front? Absolutely not. Nothing to do with the organisation Nothing at all? to do at all with Scientology. It's totally Scientology. It's all about indoctrination into Scientology. They're the local residents at war with one of the world's most controversial churches. If they can push themselves into a little country town, what's to say they can't do it to the next town and the next town? Why put it in this place which is just so obviously not suited for it? Tonight, we expose Scientology's grand plans to expand in Australia, moving into local communities to set up drug rehabilitation centres. How many people do they want to put in here? I think they want to put about 50, 60 patients. We'll show you the properties they're targeting and the dangerous religious rituals they intend to hold there. This sort of process has had reports of deaths. Every Scientologist has to go through it. Uh, you could be as famous as Tom Cruise and you still have to do it. And we'll tell you why Scientology's number one pinup boy has faced a barrage of criticism for promoting it to 9-11 firefighters. Did you believe in it at the time? Totally. Why? I was a Scientologist. I was a hypnotised, brain-dead culty. In Victoria, the Church of Scientology's drug rehab facility is based outside Warburton. Now they want to expand and move into this disused conference centre in the heart of the town, where they plan to house up to 80 drug addicts. They're trying to take over every little town they can. Residents are outraged and have been lodging their protests with the local council. If this does go ahead, it could affect everyone in their own community. They can expect that Narconom will start trying to find other locations in Australia too. It's already happening. In New South Wales, the church has the picturesque Yarramalong Valley in its sights, and specifically this homestead. Overnight, four sale signs have been put up across the valley as residents try and sell up before the Scientologists move in. Why would locals be so against uh, what's proposed here? The zoning. This is the water catchment for the Wyong Shire. This is zoned rural residential. It's not zoned for anything else. We educate people on life skills, on ethics and morals, and how to remain drug free through living good, decent lives. Andrew Cunningham is from Narconon and previously told us that locals have nothing to fear from Scientology's plans to expand its rehab operations. I think the fear of the residents is the unknown, is that they, they're unfamiliar with what actually occurs here in Narconon. And they're afraid. They see other forms of rehab where they're giving out needles and they're giving out methadone. That's not what we do here. We educate people. According to Scientology, Narconon is a drug-free program designed to get addicts clean. But as you're about to see, what goes on here is a bizarre religious ritual. People who come here are forced to sit in hot saunas for hours at a time. They're also forced to take huge doses of vitamins. Experts say it's not only dangerous, but potentially deadly. It is a toxic dose we're talking about. 1,500 milligrams a day is a toxic dose. Three deaths within a nine-month period. Criminal investigation has been launched into the facility. It's still a very dangerous thing to the people who get involved in it and their families. The strange ritual is called the purification rundown. And it's not just for drug addicts. All serious Scientologists must undergo the intensive process. John Travolta, Priscilla Presley, and Kelly Preston have all done it. It's a mandatory step early on for a Scientologist to do the purification rundown. Everyone has to do it. It's a Katie Holmes mystery. A few years ago, these disturbing images surfaced of Katie Holmes looking unwell 
her hands black and blue. There's been speculation that Katie may have undergone a Scientology purification ritual that could have caused her hands to turn purple. I think everyone was shocked by those photographs of Katie Holmes. You know, she was married to Dom Cruz at the time, the biggest movie star in the world. We saw her on red carpets looking at a million dollars all the time. Suddenly she was this broken woman with cold sores all over her face. Her hands had actually changed colour. Phil Kosh broke the story for Woman's Day. There's a lot of speculation that she underwent a very intense purification process. It not only rids your body of the effects of drugs, but also clears the path towards spiritual progress and mental clarity. A person spends five hours a day either exercising or sitting in the sauna, supposedly to sweat out drug and other toxic residues from their body. Paul Schofield knows all about the purification rundown. He's a former Scientologist and used to run Narconon Victoria. He says he's put countless people through the process. So what medical qualifications did you have? Well, I had zero. All I had was Scientology training. Where I worry about the claims to do with sauna in this process is that they're saying that you can rid your body of toxins, including heavy metals, by sitting in a sauna. Now, it doesn't matter how long you sit in a sauna, you're not going to get rid of heavy metals like mercury. Long hours in the sauna is just the start. Students, as they're referred to, are made to do secret mind control exercises. Okay, Funky, twitched your mouth. Start. And then there's this. Stand up! Yelling at ashtrays, all part of mind control training. Sit down in that chair! Shouting at ashtrays, making each other touch walls. Perhaps the most disturbing part of the process are what's called vitamin bombs. Huge doses of pills given to students, including one called niacin. Niacin is vitamin B3. Now, vitamin B3, or niacin, uh, in normal doses, 15 milligrams a day is the recommended dose. High dose is considered to be anything over 50 milligrams, and this program is talking about 1,500 milligrams a day. So we're talking about 100 times the recommended daily allowance. When you're talking 40,000 international units of vitamin A, Anybody with any medical training will tell you that that's a pretty toxic dose. Do you ever think that you might be quite mad? Oh, yes. The one man in the world who never believes he's mad is a madman. The purification rundown is the invention of kooky Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard, a man with absolutely no medical qualifications. He believed taking large doses of niacin would help cleanse the body and protect it from radiation. In excess doses, it causes flushing, itchy skin, liver damage, gout, it can cause heart problems. Unlike L. Ron, Professor Karen Phelps does have a medical degree and says there is no scientific evidence to support Scientology's claim that the purification rundown can improve your memory or boost your IQ by up to 15 points. Three deaths all connected to the same drug treatment facility here in Oklahoma. So Since 2005, there have been seven deaths linked to the controversial ritual, including Katy Perry's former boyfriend, actor Johnny Lewis, who murdered his elderly landlady before jumping from a roof. Johnny Lewis uh, is the son of two Scientologists and was a Scientologist himself. Uh, it is said when he killed that woman and then killed himself that uh, he was fresh out of a purification ritual. Like almost everything in Scientology, to do the purification rundown at Narconon costs money, up to $30,000. There's no regulation or oversight because in Australia, you don't have to have a licence to run a drug rehab facility. Are there any doctors here? Not that I know of. No doctors here. There are Scientologists who work here. You've got L. Ron Hubbard's books in the uh, office there. When our cameras got inside Narconon Victoria, we didn't find much evidence of medical supervision, just lots of literature about Scientology. Are you a Scientologist? There's eight steps to the program. The first one is when they get there to start with, it's called a drug-free withdrawal, where they run a whole lot of Scientology stuff on the person, Scientology massages and stuff. Then the remaining seven steps are identical to services offered in Scientology, which are introductory services aimed at interesting people in Scientology. Now, when I started this project, uh, it was because I was in a position where I knew that I could help. 
When Tom Cruise opened two detox centres for New York firefighters, no one suspected they had anything to do with Scientology. Many rescue workers are still paying a price for their heroic service. On the surface, it seemed a really generous thing to do. He set up detox centres in New York for the 9-11 firefighters who'd been exposed to all sorts of chemicals. But what these centres provided included a purification rundown process and a number of firefighters subsequently became Scientologists. He got a barrage of criticism once it was revealed that they were really recruitment centres for Scientology. And just this week at Scientology Celebrity Centre in LA, John Travolta's wife Kelly Preston appeared as a guest speaker at a conference promoting the purification rundown. What sort of facilities will they put here? Well, first thing is they'll have to have a sauna for their purification stuff. They'll have to change um, some of these buildings into office blocks, accommodation for at least 40 or 50 patients. There will have to be staff who stay here on site. Back at the Yarramalong Valley in New South Wales, a current affair understands the homestead property has already been sold to the Church of Scientology. Now they're waiting for council approval to start Narconon operating here. In your view, should this be allowed to go on in Australia? Only if it's labelled for what it really is, which is a Scientology indoctrination course, not as a secular rehab. Personally, I wouldn't go through this process uh, and I wouldn't recommend it for my patients because I think there are too many potential dangers hidden in things like toxic megadoses of niacin and too much time spent in a sauna. What would be your advice to people who may have a drug problem and, and may be considering going to Narconon or, or may have a loved one they want to send to Narconon? Don't. Today we received a statement from the Church of Scientology. It says it's committed to supporting global humanitarian initiatives, including Narconon, which it says is a safe and successful program that has saved thousands of lives. It denies Narconon facilities are used to promote Scientology. The full statement from the Church of Scientology is on our website, along with a response from Narconon.